Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Amazon S3 extension for Magento 2 and this extension is certainly useful for the downloadable products of your Magento 2 web store and using this extension the admin of the Magento 2 store can upload files of the downloadable products from your local disk to the Amazon server. After uploading the files the admin receives the link uh, using which the customers would be able to download the file from the Amazon server directly. So this provides a faster site load or page load. So let's get ahead and let's see how this extension works. But before that, let's go to the uh, module configuration settings of this extension. And we'll be showing you how the admin can upload the downloadable products on the Amazon S3. So uh, for this, let's go to the admin backend and let's see how this can be done. So I've already logged into the admin backend panel of the Magento 2 web store and uh, now I'll be navigating through uh, stores configuration and on the configuration page uh, under the web cool block you'll see the Amazon S3 so here we have the general settings for this extension and we have a number of settings as well so let's go through each of the settings one by one so the very first option that we have is allowed files to save on Amazon and we have an option as yes and no for this so to save the file on Amazon server you need to select this option as yes otherwise if you don't want to save the files on Amazon server you can select this option as no as per your requirement after that we have the access key ID now here you need to enter the Amazon server access key which you will get after creating an account on the Amazon S3 so that access key ID is to be entered here so that would be for your AWS account access key ID. After that we have the secret key. Uh, the same uh, is here as well. So enter the Amazon server secret key that you'll get after creating the account on Amazon S3. So you, you'll have both of these keys, the access key and the secret key after you have created an AWS account there. So both of those informations or the keys have to be entered at their respective places here. So uh, now we have the uh, bucket name so uh, a bucket is basically uh, a section that uh, or a place that stores the uh, entire data so here what you need to do is you need to enter the Amazon bucket name which you have created in your Amazon S3 account so the bucket that you have created that bucket name is to be entered within this field here after that we have the region so here you'll enter the region of the bucket where you want the bucket to reside so you need to select a location where your bucket would reside the region name should be as you have mentioned the region while creating the bucket in the Amazon S3 account so you need to select the exact region for your particular bucket the exact region that you have assigned so here you will select the exact region and after that you can click the check bucket availability button so to check the bucket availability if you if it would be available and exists in the Amazon S3 it shows the message as available let me show you that so I'll be clicking the check button so uh, here you can see that it shows that available if uh, I change the region for my uh, particular bucket that I had created and if I select a wrong region for this particular bucket and I click on the check button you can see that the status says this specified bucket does not exist so you need to select your bucket correct bucket name and you need to select the proper or and the correct region for that particular bucket that you have uh, created so I'll be selecting this as US East Ohio now click on the check button to check if this is correct or not and it says it's available now after making these uh, settings I just need to click on the save configuration button so that was the configuration settings for this extension in the admin backend panel so uh, once the admin is done with the module configuration part the admin can now upload the downloadable products on the Amazon S3 and uh, for this the admin has to navigate through uh, catalog then products
and here on the uh, products page uh, we'll go to the add product uh, download uh, add product um, option that we have and here we'll select the downloadable product type and we'll click the downloadable, pro downloadable product type and this navigates us to the uh, new product page uh, where we can create a new product as you can see the new product page has uh, come up so uh, now what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, filling up the basic information for this downloadable product and we'll be uploading the files for the downloadable product as well so uh, please remember the admin will get the Amazon S3 link only after saving the downloadable product successfully and after that the customer will download the downloadable, downloadable product from the Amazon server just like any other downloadable product from the local server so uh, one more thing is there that the customer can download the downloadable product only after the admin has created the order invoice so let me uh, go ahead and let me create this downloadable product in the uh, first place I'll say the price for this and none for the time being I'm just uh, uh, filling up this information uh, in stock uh, catalog categories and Okay, and after that I'll just go to the uh, section that's the uh, downloadable information section and here I can add uh, the downloadable files for this particular product downloadable product and I can set the uh, title for that and uh, I can also upload the file for that uh, for this particular downloadable product so to upload a file what I'll do I'll just click on the browse file first so I'll click on the browse file button and after that I'll be uploading this zip file that I have I'll upload that up so here you can see the uh, file is getting uploaded and here you can see that uh, the uh, file has been uploaded the RAR file that I had uh, edited has been uploaded if you want you can also add a sample file uh, and uh, you also have an option uh, to make this uh, link as shareable or not and you can also set the maximum downloads that a customer can uh, make use of so I'll just set this to maximum downloads as two otherwise if you want that the customer can download the file unlimited number of times and you can set you can check this option as unlimited otherwise you can set a limit by entering a number here so now I just need to click the save button and after that I'll be showing you that here we have uploaded the file so we'll be getting an Amazon S3 bucket URL that we'll get after saving this file that can be used uh, uh, and uh, which is utilized then by the customers for downloading the products directly from the Amazon server and not the local uh, server of your Amazon to do web store so uh, let me save this product first right the product is uh, being saved all right the uh, product has been saved and let me take you back to the uh, section that's the downloadable file downloadable information section here for the same product and here we can see that uh, under the file we can see the URL has been highlighted and we have received the hypertext transfer protocol secure HTTPS link for the file and here you can see that we have the bucket name and after that we have the region name as well and after that we have the downloadable file link within this so uh, that was much about this uh, extension that's the Magento 2 Amazon S3 extension and we showed you how the admin can upload the downloadable files for his downloadable products and how he can upload the files to the Amazon S3 server there and how he can generate a URL uh, for the Amazon S3 server where the downloadable file has been uploaded and on the front end when the customers download this file the file would be downloaded directly from the Amazon S3 server and not the local server of your Amazon to do web store so uh, uh, that was much about this extension uh, 
Thanks for watching this video and if you have any queries or questions regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.